Greetings fellow warriors and welcome back to yet another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord video. Don't you hate it that being a ruler of a kingdom doesn't actually feel like being the ruler? You still get mostly treated the same by your peers and enemies. Well then, I have good news for you. Today I'm going to show you some mods that will actually make you feel like you're someone important. Someone that should be feared or looked up upon throughout the realm. No more. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? And more? I offer you my loyalty. Will be the goal of this small list, so sit back and enjoy. And that brings us to today's sponsor, Clash Royale. Clash Royale is a free-to-play real-time strategy game, combining elements such as card collecting, tower defense and arena battling all in one game. Enter the arena, collect and upgrade dozens of cards featuring Clash of Clans troops, spells and defenses. Construct your ultimate battle deck to defeat your opponents, which will in turn reward chests that will unlock even more rewards, such as gold, gems, cards and wild cards. Progress through multiple arenas, 21 in total, all the way to the top, either as a one-man force or form a clan to share cards and build your very own battle community. Your goal is to destroy more towers than your opponents do, with each destroyed tower being represented as a crown. These crowns can be used to earn epic crown chests. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or scan my QR code on the top right to get started. See you in the arena warriors and a huge thank you to Clash Royale for sponsoring this video. First of all you have to elevate yourself from the peasantry. I mean just look at them. They don't look a lot like nobles and that's why you have to stand out from the crowd with the Swadian Armory mod. It's been a long time since I talked about this mod but there have been a lot of new additions that you should totally check out. There's just too much stuff to talk about, from salads to great helmets to plate armors or mail tabards. This mod offers a huge variety of new armor pieces that will make you stand out from the rest. But there's a small issue. On the battlefield you'll look like a total badass, but when visiting towns or castles, yeah for some reason you're forced into a civilian outfit. That's why we also need the mod Civilized, which makes every item in the game civilian. Great access in your civilian slot? No problem. Spears or pikes? Looks civilian enough for me. The fabled toddler crusher. Also, no problem at all. You're the ruler after all. And you can decide what you want to wear any way you want and no one will stop you. I recommend pairing this mod with enter castle and towns with a horse, which fixes the issue of not being able to use a horse when entering a castle or town. Now trot along the path to your glorious castle and look down on your devoted servants. You are the king and you can command your servants however you want. But in vanilla you can't do anything with them. That's why we also need the mod Recruit Everyone. Now any townsfolk, villagers, merchants, notables and tavern employees can be recruited to your party as companions. Most villagers and townsfolk can be hired at a price based off of how a wanderer would be hired. They will also earn skills and get equipment based off of companion templates. After initiating a dialogue, a new option will appear which says, I can use someone like you in my company, just like with wanderers you'll find in taverns. After giving them some coin, the NPC will join your party and do as you say. But a king has needs that need to be fulfilled. And that includes his need to cheat on his wife. That's why we also need the hot butter mod. I don't know how much I can show of this mod on YouTube without getting the video age restricted, so I'll play it safe. The hot butter mod, as many of you already know, lets you do the deed whenever you want. Why I include this mod in the list? Well, you should be waiting for the game system to make your wife pregnant, as you are the king and you should choose when your needs need to be fulfilled. But the main reason I picked this mod is the ability to have bastard children. When you do the deed with a companion or any non-wife opposite sex NPC in your part, there is a possibility of them getting pregnant. So using the Recruit Everyone mod and this one together, you can pretty much get a bastard child with anyone you want. Once your needs are fulfilled, it's time to wage war. There have been some conspiracies. Some folk don't like how you're just doing what you want. There have been rumors about assassins trying to take your life. And where does these rumors stem from? You're damn right, those goat f***ers over there in the mountains. Batanians they call themselves. Filthy animals. Sadly, their kingdom has much more power, more fiefs, more nobles, more troops. 
You will definitely need some help on the battlefield and that's where our next mod comes into play. Declare war together. Want to go to war against an annoying kingdom but not confident in your kingdom's capabilities? With this mod installed you can approach another faction leader to declare war together with your kingdom against your enemy, for a price of course. All you have to do is approach any kingdom leader and select the new dialog option which says I am here to discuss a mutual war declaration against a kingdom. Afterwards you will be able to select which kingdom you both want to declare war upon. You will have to spend some dinars or other goods to convince the other party. Upon successfully concluding the deal, the both of you will declare war on the faction that you picked. During this all out war, you should have the power to tell your servants where to attack, to defend, where to reinforce a garrison or simply escort another party. Everything is going to be possible with the mod Kingdom Strategies Command. With this mod you can command your vessels to defend, escort parties, accompany you, attack cities or castles and create new armies. For some influence all of these options will open up, adding a new way to strategically manage your wars. But there is a small issue. You would have to meet the person you want to command. That's why we also need the diplomacy mod. You all already know pretty much what it does so I won't really go into any details. With the diplomacy mod you can send messengers all around the realm without moving an inch, like a real king. After your messenger arrives you can simply order the party what you want them to do. But sometimes your presence is needed to give your troops a boost of morale. Upon entering a battlefield the king needs to be protected at all costs. That's why we are going to use a mod called Bodyguard which lets you have a detachment of guards to protect you during combat. A separate group of troops is detached from your other formations and assigned as your personal guards. They will not respond to your normal commands so you don't have to micromanage them. The amount of bodyguards is proportional to the amount of troops you have with the maximum being 5 guards at once. And lastly for the proper battle ambience we'll be using the carrier mod. This mod is mostly used for its banner system but I personally turn off some features and use it mainly as an ambience mod that gives battles a much better atmosphere. So after months of waging war across the lands it's finally time for peace. And what better way to celebrate than throwing a feast with people dancing, playing music and well feasting. And after drinking way too much you didn't notice the foul stench coming from the grapes. But it's too late. One bite ends the tale of yours truly and it looks like the assassins weren't just a mere tale that should have been shrugged off. And thus ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It would help out tremendously and show me that you want to see more content like this in the future. Join my discord server where you can talk with me and other like minded people about all kinds of stuff. And I see you all in my next video. Become a warrior today and bye. Another huge thank you to Pyrolyzed, Edkaina, Chains, Max, Clinkyman and all the other members for supporting the channel.